Uh, good evening everyone. I'm here uh, to uh, show you guys how to connect a legacy accessory. In this case, this guy down here, which is a circa 2003 um, Panasonic DVD VCR player with a more modern smart TV. Um, in this case, it's a Samsung uh, 2017 version. Um, we're just doing it because it took us a little while to figure it out. Didn't find anything on YouTube that was particularly helpful. Um, I had to rely on some good people at Samsung and then at Best Buy to uh, kind of put the pieces together. Uh, the trick is uh, overall to recognize that the TV is just a display. And then we need to get it to recognize the content coming out of the old DVD VCR player. Um, and uh, so it's just going to be me uh, filming, uh, trying to w walk you through uh, what we did. Um, if you're looking for you know, editing and soundtracks and, and really good film work, uh, you're kind of the wrong place because it's just me since there's no way my wife would let me um, put our dated family room on the internet. So here we go. We go to the back of the TV here, take a look and see what our options are. All right. Now, your TV probably looks different unless you have the exact same one that we have, but I think the point will be that you'll have the same components, the same options. It's just a question of recognizing what you got. Um, very pinned against the wall, might be a little bit tougher, but since we don't do that, uh, it's easy for us to show you what the options are. Top here, you got a couple of USB um, ports, optical cable, three HDMIs, an old LAN. Uh, I don't know if they even use those anymore. I remember those in college, that was a little while ago our AV options, and finally, uh, a coaxial cable, which you can use for your antenna or, yeah, I don't know, older stuff probably. Now the trick here, I think, is not falling for these guys right here, the AV options. And why it's tempting is because, as we'll see in a minute here on the back of the uh, DVD VCR player, uh, it has similar options, and you might want to just connect the two, but it didn't work for us. Instead, what you want are these HDMI guys. Um, that, um, that option, those ports will give you the best picture quality from what I've been told, and at least in our case, the only picture quality. So it makes it really easy. Um, to do that, then we need to get uh, something, you need to get an HDMI cable plugged in here, um, which will require a conversion to the back of the VCR player. So let's go down there and take a look at what our options are. Down there. Okay, the power plug ports on the left is already plugged in. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, probably should be getting professional help. Um, otherwise, our principal options here, and we'll look at them in detail, are mostly AV outputs. You also have a couple of coaxials. So, as we suspected, and of course, as I know because I've done this one before, there is no HDMI option. So it requires a converter. And the converter we got is this guy right here. It's an insignia brand from um, Best Buy. Um, and it basically converts from oh, HDMI to helpfully color-coded um, AV cables. And there were two choices there at Best Buy. Uh, this one, I'm pretty sure it's the right one. Um, I know this is the right one, but I'm pretty sure this was NS, that's November Sierra-HZ, that's Hotel Zulu 330. And that one is converting from what they call an RCA or AV to an HDMI. Okay, you're converting from a, a legacy, this guy, to an HDMI compatible uh, device, which is this one. The other option, which was 331, it may tempt you because it may be a little bit cheaper, is if you wanted to convert from an HDMI capable accessory to uh, a legacy display like a TV. I don't know why you want to do that to yourself, but apparently it's possible since there is a market for it. Uh, but at any rate, you know, if it doesn't work, you can probably swap it out if it came down to it. So again, with apologies for the video work here, since it's I mean, myself and I videoing here, I'm going to take this guy here, our first cable, which is just an HDMI to HDMI. I'm going to plug it into the back of the uh, TV here. Let's go with HDMI 1. Make sure 
this into nice and snug. And then connect the other end down here. to the HDMI port okay. now we've got the HDMI into the converter we needed to connect it to uh, the legacy machine via uh, an appropriately sized AV cable here. It's color coded to match the back here. Uh, how nice of them. And um, in three colors, of course, are yellow, red, and white. Yellow is your video, and red and white are your uh, audio feeds. So, there you go. Yellow is the first one in. And red. All right, yellow, red, and white. And then we're gonna make our way back to the DVD VCR player with the other ends. Now you, of course, want to run these through your display box so you don't have wire sticking all over the place. But uh, for purposes of this uh, video, I'm gonna leave it out. Now you're really down to two choices, right? In terms of you know possibilities to have the three colors we want, right? The component videos are the wrong colors, and I think these guys five go together. We don't want to play that game, so it's really just a question of output and input. I don't think input will even work for you, because again, we recognize that the machine here is sending a signal out. We want to take signals out from the the legacy uh, accessory. Um, and send them to the display, which is the TV. All right, so again, color-coded, and again, um, yellow delivering your, your video, and red delivering your audio, and white delivering your other audio. Make sure everything's snug there. Looks pretty good. That should do it. <clears throat> now, the moment of truth comes when you uh, get your TV to try to recognize it. All right. So, here we go. I'm going to turn on the DVD VCR player. Go to the main screen here. I'm not going to show you my remote because it was probably different. Oh, and that's what I wanted to see. Go right to sources, right? So across the bottom, you probably have some, you see one of this for all the uh, different uh, streaming options provide themselves. And then you go to the source, TVD, we have an unknown item at HDMI port one. That's what I want to see, right? So click on that. Okay. And the blue screen looks promising. Let's see. I'm going to hit play on the VCR. Oh, yes. Hey! Bingo. Wife's old movie. Can't watch it any more than I have to, so that's enough of that. And then I just go check and see if my DVD will play. Push the play button on the box. And voila, there we go. So that is that. That's how you connect um, an old DVD VCR player to a, oh no. My name is Tim. Back. I had the greatest. I don't think so. Um, to a, a modern-ish uh, smart TV. It's just a question of, we say, getting the TV to recognize the device. Um, and converting the output uh, from something that came, uh, the technology from 2003 or so, 
to be compatible with the TV from 2017. So I uh, hope this helps. I uh, probably won't be able to answer any questions for you in the comment section because I basically just told you everything I know. Uh, but again, I hope this, uh, this uh, either works directly for you or gives you some ammunition and some insight to help you um, get your old system up and working. All right, good luck.